Are there certain human rights that are actually more important than other human rights, for example, um, the right to health versus intellectual property. Both different countries view each one as a, as a human right. And should certain rights uh, gain priority when it comes to trade policy making? Well, that's a good question, Rebecca. Um, <laughs> it's funny because when I first started this book, I was by no means an expert on human rights. And I wouldn't call myself an expert now, although I have done a considerable amount of work on business and human rights questions, and now with this book on trade and human rights. And when I started, uh, it was clear that human rights scholars believe human rights are universal and indivisible. So you can't say one human right is more important than the other. But what I found is every culture is different and every country is different, and they value different human rights. Now, in every country, the right to life is probably the most important right, and that means access to food, access to shelter, access to um, basic medicines, access to water. But yet, <laughs> interestingly enough, in one of the most advanced countries in the world, the United States, there is no access to the right to health. So these things are culturally determined. And so that really, when I went to these countries and learned that every country has a different perspective on this, moreover, every country has a different constitution. And for example, in the United States, we really value political participation and freedom of speech. Uh, we value political rights and civil rights, but other countries value economic and social rights. Now, some of these rights are more affected by trade. Some of these rights are more affected by particular trade agreements. And it can change over time. And it can change instantly, depending on a country's level of development, on its culture, et cetera. So these are very, very complicated questions. They're not easy to answer. And what I find most interesting is that, thanks to the work of Nobel Prize winning economist Amartya Sen, Scholars are starting to ask these questions, but we really need more research.